Hi fellas, Nigel back here again and today I've got another review for you. Today we're going to be having a look at, I think it's, it must be, it's yeah, it's a MIG Productions, um, a initiation to the aircraft weathering by Jamie Hago. Okay, so this goes through quite a lot and about different about uh, different uh, weathering techniques for aircraft not necessarily the build techniques but how to get the best out of your your weathering it's a big glossy book uh, we you know over 200 pages so what we'll do we'll put you on the hover it and we'll have a quick skim through it so as you can see it's a lovely glossy book okay and inside all right you've got different chapters uh you know chapter one and so on so uh we're looking at the concepts so you can see the tools and products page different paints so very similar to a lot of these type of books but reason uh, I, I like this is because it's it, it really does go diving deep to the actual weathering of said aircraft so i'll just have a, a quick look through okay so airframe preparation so basically doing the sanding and all that sort of stuff and um making sure everything's how it should be potentially once it's been built and there's actually a little bit of write-up on each individual part so got it on this one it's talking about rescribing uh, and then we'll go on to probably uh riveting okay uh going all the way through and using different types of tools and equipment to be able to do this and then as we most aircraft we have to have a look at the cockpit okay and as you can see we're going through and it's basically t showing you some instrument panels and some chairs and how to go through to potentially detail them up if needed uh, how to drill bits out okay so some very basic stuff but also some a lot of uh information on how to go about doing these said bits and pieces for aircraft now for us that have been doing this a little while we we know some of these okay but so this book is very good for the beginner because it goes through step by step by step from chipping uh, different types uh using different uh uh washers uh i mean i must admit it is very uh very heavy of mig products but you would expect that because it's a mig book and then you can see the use of pigments on a i probably think that's a chinook cockpit floor Okay, so there's some lovely, lovely photograph graphs in here. Um, and then moving on to distressed paint, metals, natural metal. So the classic 1950s uh, jet, jet fighter, so that's MiG-15. Uh, modern jets. So this for me is, is where I wanted to have a look mainly at this because I'm starting to build a lot more modern jets. So I want to try and build a lot more modern jets uh, we'll just go go through some of the pages as you can see uh, he builds an uh, abandoned wessex he's done a spitfire there we is it west? yeah that's a wessex then we've got another abandoned helicopter there a filthy greek or as he pours it a grotty greek viper uh, a funder streak okay he talks about faded markings as you can see as it's going through but one of the things that i really like he talks about you know extreme paint chipping um what i really like if i can find the page He's, let's just get to it. Uh, 
Sorry about this. Battle damage. Yeah, even into battle damage and how to replicate that, which is great. Uh, where is it? Where is it? It's probably near the back where I'm looking for. It's, it's actually that. This is it. Okay. So this is his uh, Kitty Hawk Bronco that he built. Okay. Uh, Death Punch. And going all the way through, we lots of scratch building, the cockpit, removing, adding certain bits and pieces. Again, going through the cockpit, how to paint it, uh, and whether the cockpit, the seat. So those are basically uh, old, well, they are, they're now old Land Rover seats. So making them look old and worn. Uh, in the back and the actual cockpit seat again moving through doing parts of the cockpit and he's got good reference photos of neglected aircraft okay and basically what he's going to is is that okay uh, a post plot a copy i can't even say the word aircraft and he, again look he's doing tanks Fuselage, how it all goes together. Rerouting, sanding, before he then goes on to talking about the upper gur uh, turret. The camo on the tail, he's using his own masks. Chipping, so it, it walks you through the whole build of this this aircraft okay even through to you know putting a pepsi replacement panel on there look you know so if i can see you can just see that on the top how that that's just uh, how he's done it it's absolutely fantastic and it was actually this build that I wanted to see more than probably the rest of it. But there's, there's loads of really good information in there. Okay, so it's well worth the buy. I can't remember how much it, it is brand new. I got this one second hand. Okay, uh, even now look to uh, doing the wheels on on the aircraft. The main, main wheels, oil drums and some... A, a base odds and sods which are like it's very very british sort of wording uh which is for me is great all right and you can see the final aircraft there all right, and then just some more actual shots so it's a a really good book so yeah this is a, a really good book for those that want to move on a little bit more with their uh, weathering techniques. Uh, for me, it, it makes sense to get try and get them secondhand. Uh, I got this and another off a auction site uh, on Facebook for about 30 quid, I think it was. So for that sort of price, I was, you know, I was well happy that, with that. And to be fair, it's a really good book for that sort of price. So 15 quid each. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure you'll be able to get that cheap at all the times, but it's well worth shopping about. It's well worth the money. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you on the next one.